Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another haul video. So there's a lot to get through today because I went to the auction and it's been my first auction in so long that I, I, I bought so much stuff. Now, I spent a total of about $224, a little bit less than I was thinking I was going to spend after I uh, was there for a few hours and you know, I, did, I wasn't keeping track. Uh, honestly, I know some people keep track, I don't. I wish I, I probably should. You know, you get like a little notepad and you like write it down and make sure that everything's square. <sighs> if you're a professional auction goer, you do that sort of thing. But I like the surprise at the end. Okay, so one of these days I will do that. Trust me, one of these days. But I've got so much stuff here on this table and so much of it that I spilled out to the floor and to the counter. So we've got a lot to get through. I'm gonna jump right on in with these amazing glasses. So I did do a, sh a shop along video at the auction and you saw maybe some of these, this stuff, but you'll see them more in depth here. This is a wonderful mid-century glass made by Federal. I'll show you the bottom stamp, it's a shield. See there, a little shield and there's an F inside of it. That stands for Federal Glass. So we've got three blue ones and three pink ones. They are just amazing. These are gonna sell for between five to $10 each. I'll sell them as a set of course instead of six, but with that in mind, they'll go up on eBay uh, for that. I think that they're really amazing. Now, what I paid for the glassware, uh, I'll have to show you the different things that I got and then give you the total price that I paid for it all because that's the thing at auctions. They just group things in and you never know. Uh, well, sometimes you know how they're gonna group it, but it just depends on how they're feeling, how late in the day the auction is, if they're gonna do each thing separately or start just grouping a whole bunch of stuff together. So that's what they did. So I've got uh, all six of those glasses and then these. There are two red and two yellow, very mid-century. So we have like this plastic rope on there. This is made by McKee, McKee Glass. It's called a HOTTLE, H-O-T-T-L-E. I know that because it says that literally on the bottom, McKee Huddle Glass Bake. So this is like a little coffee carafe and it has the original cork stoppers. And even more impressive is it has the band in really nice shape. Oftentimes you'll find these and they'll be cracked or they'll be gone or the lids are missing. So I have two red and two yellow. Those sell for between five and $8 each. Because I have two red and two yellow, I'll probably sell them I'm kind of still thinking if I want to sell them together as a set or not. But like I said, did I say they sell for, well, they sell for between five to 10. I think these are $8 a piece that I'm going to be doing on these. Uh, so whatever that is, eight times four, 32. So yes, those are very nice. So I got those included. And then these Care Bear glasses. Now these are impressive because it's a set of four. We've got this one here called Sunshine Bear. Then we have this one called Tender Heart Bear. And then we have Grumpy Bear. And we have Cheer Bear. So all four of them, and I'm not an expert on Care Bears. It literally says what their names are on the back. So <laughs> that's, that's great for them. They were made by Pizza Hut, it says that, and that is from 1983. They sell for about $10 a glass solidly. So that, uh, they're collectible. I will put all four of those up on eBay. On auction, starting at $40 and see where it goes. Now, I'm, I'm unsure if these next glasses came with that set. Let's pretend that they didn't because I th think they might've went with something else. So the six glasses I showed, the four HODL, the four HODL crafts and the four Care Bear mugs I paid, it was like $15. So I think that's a great price. That's like $5 per set that I just showed. So I was really excited about that. Then I bought these uranium glass sherbet cups, little dessert dishes. These are uranium and this is a black light. It shines purple unless you're on something uranium and then it'll shine this green color. So the uranium glass actually has uranium in it. That's why it shines green and I paid $5 for these. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. These sell individually for about $5 each. So that's great. Those will go on eBay as well. 
up for auction. They should be on eBay right now. All these things are up on eBay right now. Okay, then I bought a couple Holt Howard pieces. Now these are in the Rogue Rooster pattern. We've got this Rogue Rooster right here. It's a ketchup jar, has a slot for your spoon, a little condiment guy, and the mustard. Okay, these are from 1962. 1962. It says it right on the bottom. So happy about that. So there we go. Many Holt Howard pieces are marked. They'll either have it spelled out like that or it'll be like a large HH sticker whenever they move to the stickers. But yeah, so that's part of a condiment set. There probably would have been a third. That's sort of the traditional way. You've got your ketchup, your mustard, and what's the third, like a relish or something? I don't know how, it, you know, how, what the other ones are in this case, but it probably would have came with a spoon. No spoons here. The pair of them would have, the pair of these are probably gonna sell for $30 as a set. So that's, those are going on eBay. Now, from here on, it gets a little bit tricky on the price on, on what I paid because, you know, whenever they just put, here, let me find one. Glass, miscellaneous. I'm not sure what that is. So, <laughs> I know I paid for it. I just don't know what I what exactly is part of the miscellaneous. So, um, okay, let's do some planters. Now, I bought these, I'm not sure how much I paid, and I'm not sure all what was included, but I got a great deal. So we've got this one here with a bear. It's like a bear in a dress. And then we have some crazing in this pottery. There we go. Crazing in the pottery. There's the bottom, there's the back. It's in pretty nice vintage shape. I bought that. This I will probably put up on a Friday night auction. And because, if it's, a, because it's a planter, uh, I'm thinking between eight to ten dollars on this one, so that's fun. And then I also got this one, might be Royal Copley, I'm not sure, but it has the bird on it. I said Royal Copley possibly because this bottom, but I didn't check that. So there we go for the planter. This one also would maybe sell for eight to ten dollars. And then the other planter I want to show. Oh, there's another one after this. We've got this little boy. There he is, looks like a tree stump behind him. And this is just marked made in Japan on the bottom. And then here's another condiment set. This one is in luster wear in this beautiful green color. I love it. Turn those little things around. Oh, now that is beautiful. So we have the salt, the pepper and the mustard or sugar, whatever you wanna put in there. And it's just, I love it so much. Now it's marked on the bottom, made in Japan. Yep, made in Japan. And I just, this color is beautiful. I, I'm not used to seeing this kind of a color. It's like sea green, sea green kind of a color. I think I paid, well, I'm not, I forgot what came with that one, but I think I paid under $4 for it. I, I am pretty sure, let me think. No, I'm not pretty sure, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, and then, oh, so the this condiment set, I would think somewhere around 20, dollars $20, or so. It's very pretty, so I think that'll help it along. And then I have these two matching vases. These are these are Hull H U L L, and we've got them in the pink. I'll probably sell these as a set. You can kind of put them just like that. Very pretty and that nice pink color. And they're marked whole art on the bottom. I would imagine for the pair of them, about 15 to $20 as a set. And then we have this little creamer here. It's marked Germany, Lutenberg, I think. There's a castle and then it says Germany. There's the bottom stamp. Oh, wrong side. There you go. Beautiful. And that is, transferred on that's transferred on flowers as opposed to hand painted very pretty i would most likely sell this in a friday night live sale for between five to ten dollars somewhere in there then i have this little restaurant wear creamer it is marked hall though hall made in usa on the bottom 
it's in a pretty basic color, but I think it's pretty. It's just very understated. And I'll sell that most likely on a Friday Night Live sale for five to eight dollars. Then I have a piece of Linux here. This is a Linux figurine of a swan. Not a, it's not a planter or anything, it's just a figurine. It's marked Linux on the bottom. And for a figurine like this, I'd probably sell eight to ten dollars on a Friday Night Live sale. I did buy some salt sellers. Now these, I don't remember what I paid for them. They were probably included in something, but I have a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of these kinds of salt sellers like this. Like that, so seven of those, and then one of these. I would may maybe that's a master salt. It doesn't really go with the other, and that's in the pinwheel design. Uh, so there's that. Then we have a little federal glass toothpick mug, or like a kind of a shot glass thing. It's based on a candy scoop, an old penny candy scoop, but it's uh, not as, not old enough to be that. And then we have, okay, now there is a ton. I went out of the park here. I bought a ton of Fostoria coin glass in Ruby. In Ruby. Do I wanna go through it now though? Okay, we're gonna do it. Should I tell you the price that I paid now or after I show you every piece? I'm gonna show you every piece, then I'm gonna tell you how much I paid. All right, we've got the two candlesticks. These I will sell for about 15 to $20 for the pair, assuming no chips are cracked. I don't think they have, they have any. Then we have salt and pepper. By the way, I'll give you a closer look at the, what we're doing. So that's the coin. That's the pattern that's on these. It's this coin dot, or I mean coin glass. And it's marked for Astoria in this case. So we've got the salt and pepper, worth about 15 to 20 for the salt and pepper. Then, we'll move that little dolphin out of the way. Then we have a creamer. I'm not sure if I have the, I think that's the sugar over there. Uh, the creamer with the sugar, if that's what that is, I would sell them for $20, $25 as a pair. Then we have this big hunk and ash tray. Isn't that lovely? It's worth about 15 or so dollars. These are roundabout prices. It could go a little higher depending on the piece, but for the most part, and then we have a number of these. These are like little dessert dishes. We've got one, two, three, four. Is that right? Four, five. Is it five? Is five, is five the final number? It might be. They sell for about five to seven dollars each. I might put them together as a set. Then we have this larger oval dish in the same pattern, beautiful. Sells for about $15, $20. I'm out of space, so let's get that out of the way. Then we have a covered candy dish. I'm calling it a candy dish. Okay, so we've got this one here. This one would sell for probably closer to 20 or so dollars. 20, 25. And then, oh goodness golly. Then we have this larger dish right here maybe it's more of a serving size i'm not actually sure of the if this that's what you this is just some hunk and heavy glass though not looking forward to shipping it but it's beautiful it's this ruby colored here colored glass uh so again we've got this larger dish here oh probably 15 20 dollars for that now this is the one i was alluding to might be part of a sugar creamer i didn't double check that but it's covered it might be a, it might be part of a sugar creamer set. I'll double check that. Otherwise, it would just be sold off singly as a covered piece like that, like a little kind of thing, fifteen to twenty dollars. And then we have this pitcher. It has the ice lip. Very nice. Ah, uh, this is a bigger. I'm not sure what the value is, but if I had to guess, maybe twenty five or so. And then we have one final. Piece, I think, which is another ashtray. <laughs> Getting to it. Oh, okay. it's a smaller one. So this one would probably be 15 or so dollars. Okay. Oops, I moved you a little bit. Okay. All of that glass that I just showed you, 
I paid five dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't <laughs> five dollars. Nobody even bid. Probably because it's heavy and it's like not a great thing to ship. But it's popular and I I couldn't resist. So I I didn't resist. I bought it. I'm trying to move that. Okay. I did show you it all. Great. Okay, so let's continue. I'll show you my dolphin. This is also Linux. I just sold one of these. I'll probably sell this one, this one for between eight and ten dollars. Put that next to my swan. Here's a little Moriagi piece. I used to say Moriage, but now I say Moriagi because apparently that's how the Japanese pronounce it. So it's dragonware. So it's Moriagi and dragonware. It's of a dragon. And it's this little bud vase. Like that. You can hold it just like that. <laughs> uh, it's actually not marked. It normally would be made in Japan. So it could have been a sticker that fell off. Oh, okay. You might also be thinking it could be older than 1891 before they started marking things, but based on the heaviness of this, the camera shut off. But I don't think that it's older than that. I'm fairly certain it's 50s, 60s time frame. Or, yeah. I, okay, we'll continue. Now, I bought some toy items. I usually don't buy vintage toys, but these are kind of... I'm kind of just getting in there a little bit with the toys. All right, so I don't know which is which. They have one slip that says toys, $7.50. I'm not sure what other toys I would have gotten. And then another one that says birds, bids, birds? No, that's no, or whatever, to toys and then dishes, $12.50. Oh, kids toys. I couldn't read the word kids. Kids toys, as opposed to adult toys? <laughs> okay so here we have this very cool in the box little tea set it is marked ooh, elgin illinois maybe it's elgin elgin like the clock company elgin illinois could be but it's in the box i think it's all there so that's cool and there's like this the graphics on there you can see the graphic yes yeah, very nice so that's i'll just stick on the floor Okay, came with a metalware set, and that's of like a teapot, and there you go. That's what it looks like. So it's a nice size set. We've got one, two, three, four, five mugs, one, two, three, four saucers, one, two, three, four luncheon plates, and two square uh, trays. Then it came with this here. I think I might have called this Acro Agate in the video. I'm not sure. I didn't ever really look it over. Uh, I think it is Acro Agate. It's just not as colorful as we're used to seeing. And it's not like really a whole set, I guess. I don't know. So this is what I got. It included these pieces. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. If I'm going to sell it off as a set like that. Oh, now, the, now this is made in Japan. This one is. It's just a little ceramic piece, but the others are glass. Oh, except that. That goes with it. That goes with that thing. Okay. Oh, that goes with that too. <laughs> okay, so you got the plate, that thing, and that thing. These are glass. These are those acro agate pieces. It's the yellow. So we've got two yellow. Looks like, a, I think that's supposed to be a covered sugar or something, and it's missing the lid. Oh, that's a little plastic, a little plastic plate. More plastic pieces. Okay, wait a minute now. Here is some, some blue glass. Looking through the side, it's beautiful. There's like little flowers on it. Can we see those flowers? They're right there, right around the rim. Beautiful. So I've got four of those plates. So now I'm starting to understand what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to break this up. And then we have like a random lid. It is chipped. Maybe I'll just include that for fun. So really what you're dealing with is that. These are like the, the glass pieces and this lid. Oh, and this. 
Okay, so those are like the acro pieces. I shouldn't say acro agate because there really isn't the, the logo on the bottom. The acro agate logo is a, is it an eagle with an A? I think so. And I don't see it on these. So I shouldn't say that. But the rest of the stuff in here is just a little plastic bits. All right, that's good. So either way, I think those will do fine. I'm not actually an expert on kids' toys and stuff. I think they're cute, but I don't know what they go for. I would think those glass plates and things are, I think they would go $12 or so, um, just for fun things you could do. Now, this is something I was excited to get. They're paper dolls. Well, yeah, I guess they are paper dolls, right? But it's of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Look at that. So I didn't open this up to see if all seven drawers are there, but you can see like she has her her dress there. Why don't we, do you wanna open it up? We could open it up now, I guess. I just have to make sure that they all stay together. Okay, so let's dump her out. Oops, what is that? Okay, okay, here we go. So we've got, oh, how cute. We've got Grumpy. These are adorable. We've got Happy. We've got Doc. One, two, three. We've got Sneezy. Is there a copyright on here? There must be around here somewhere. Uh, we've got Bashful. Is that five? What is this? Is this Sleepy again? I thought we did Sleepy. Sleepy? They're sleepy. Sleepy. So oh, that was maybe Sneezy I was thinking of. What is this, Dopey? Good old Dopey. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, right? That's seven, huh? I think that was seven. Is that all of you guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes! I'm so excited we have a full house, or a full set. <laughs> okay, and then it comes with I think I'm gonna put this up on auction, but I'm, I mean, I'll start. <gasps> How cute! We've got the little deer family. They come with, look at all the outfits you get with her. Her head came off at some point. It was attached, but there she is. And then we've got multiple outfits. They're, oh gosh, they, I'm beautiful. We've got that one. Well, we don't need to go through all, every one of them. But we've got one, two, three, four, five. And then like a whole slew of like little critters and add-ons, things that she can be holding. And even more over here. I'm not sure. I, I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to be looking at. Those are adorable. I think just... Like, just those are adorable. Just the little grumpy people. Um, maybe there's a copyright somewhere on here. But I would guess it looks right out of the 50s to me. So, that's super neat. I was excited to get that. Oh, we've got so much left. Do I want to break this up into a separate haul or keep going? Goodness golly. You know... I hate to do this, but I think we're gonna split this video up because I'm out of room and I would have to, let's let's let it set off, let's let it hang there. So I, from what you saw so far, I think that was really just some very fun things. And in this next video, I've got even more interesting things, including some California pottery, uh, some pitcher sets, some canister sets, what else? Just more, more stuff, amazing stuff. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.